I like how he grabbed the bottle. Can you grab the bottle like that again, Dylan? Do it again. Oh, here comes Bobby with the fucking segment off. God. To give us an Irish intro, Dylan. <laughs> no, I mean, we should at that point we should just do like an all whole ass Irish drinking song. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I I did, I did, I did. <laughs> welcome to the Joy Six Show, Fine, episode one hundred and thirty-three. <laughs> it's St. Patrick's Day, boys. Exactly. I mean, when you see this, it's like five days after St. Patrick's Saint Day. Patty's. But who the fuck gives a shit? Because it's St. Patrick's Day today, Patrick's. and we're here to celebrate. We? Uh, I almost got everything ready, but if you could do me a quick salad and close that door oh, okay. we'll be Maybe. ready i could do it I'm we'll, be, we'll be ready to go joey, and while, uh, uh, while, the door guy. while joey goes ahead and does that welcome to the joystick show we're here to entertain you for about 40 to uh, 60 minutes we're going to talk into your face uh it's a real special episode here because it's really just been dylan and i for the past three to four we've weeks been, yeah, but we've got the boys team. back jerry and joey we have the whole squad yeah. feels or good to have, have the, feels good to have the uh the table back uh back in its hole you know does it really feel that empty when me and him are not here? Like, yeah, ah, it's a completely it, different vibe. I mean, it's a different. We'll get into that. In a it feels like a throwback. A almost. point, real quick, before we get into anything, yeah. make sure to go ahead and like episode 133 of the podcast. Make sure to subscribe to your boys, Team Joystick. That's or us, else. Bobby, Dylan, Joey, Jerry, and uh, yeah. Just to answer your question, it is a different vibe. I wouldn't say it's really better or worse. I feel like Dylan and I have actual conversations when it's just the two of us. Yeah. And, right. and when it's the four of us, it's more joke heavy. Both I love. It's just it's a different. It's like kind it's of like dynamic. more about the interaction. Yeah. And more about Ooh. like bouncing off each other. But you other. know th that's why there's something good here every week. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. it's two, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's three. Yeah. But it's never one. Sometimes we order food. Uh, speaking of that, we're gonna do that right now. Uh, it's <laughs> not really St. Patrick's Day related, but the Double Down is back at Kentucky Fried Chicken, correct? Which yes. is a, a very famous or infamous sandwich, depending on how you this. how you think about it. It is a chicken sandwich. Yeah, but the popular gimmick is that the buns are two chicken breasts. Yeah. So it's two chicken breasts with bacon, cheese, and sauce inside So it's of not it. really a sandwich. Yeah. It's not it's a sandwich. It's just it's two a chickens with things <laughs> hey, Well, what it. defines a sandwich? As far as no, I'm concerned, no, no. a sandwich is things put in between two things. <laughs> That's the thing, Joe. Uh, you need buns. So is a hot dog a sandwich? That's a taco. But it's in between it's, two it's things. Shell, <laughs> between one so thing. is lasagna uh, a sandwich? That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> it's a, no, things. it is. There are lasagna, many sandwiches. Lasagna is a casserole, though. But no, but if you cut them into squares, shut the fuck up. We're done with this. <laughs> so dumb, Did you order them? Food food. I'll get. I'll do that. Right go ahead and order them. Jerry's gonna go ahead and get us four spicy double downs. Now they have yes. the spicy. I don't think that was a thing back then. Right? And I haven't oh, had yeah. the sandwich since I was about 14, 15 years old. So it's gonna be kind of a crazy. Yeah, spicy is just. Uh, Instead of mayo, they have the spicy sauce. Yeah, we've actually we've actually talked about the double down. I want to say at least three times on the show now. We we have so, mentioned crazy. it quite a bit. Yeah, it's it's pretty. F I mean, so this was forthcoming. Oh, like we, we we you know yeah. we manifested. Yeah, this. It, they, they they've brought it back. I believe they watched our twenty sixteen. I think they, they brought it back, but a in while. a different like area of the United States. Yeah. I remember it because it was making news, and I was like, oh, and then I looked it up, and it was like just the South or some shit yeah. like that. Ah. And I know when I was, I remember, uh, I forgot what it was, but I remember I looked up a KFC to see, like, you know, if they had it, what the reviews were. Because people are leaving reviews like, fuck yeah, the double down's back. And I saw that literally I clicked on Google Maps and there was a street view of 2014 and it said double, double down, down in the window. And I was like, not that long. <laughs> it hasn't Crazy. been that long. So I'm excited. Hopefully we'll get those before the podcast ends. Those yeah. sound delicious. Yep. I'm not it for who, when I have to go get it. Yeah, definitely. I'll get I mean, it, whatever. We got 20 minutes. I love Dylan. We love Dylan. But, uh, you know, since it's been a while, what have you boys been up to? Joey, it's, what's up, buddy? Yeah. I feel like I've been on a crazy journey. It's been like three to four weeks since the last time I was on the podcast. Yeah, and for, in that three to four weeks, I saw a Native American black metal band. I went to the <laughs> Harry Potter store yeah. for the first time. Uh, I saw Scream 6. Yeah. and. All those things were all fun. So and what the enjoyable. fuck is the name of this chapter right now? Yeah. Uh, Joey's been so places. Shit. Uh, yeah. I've, um, let's start with the latest thing I have. Um, I saw Scream 6. Uh, I don't want to make this a whole segment on the movie or anything, but it was. I give that movie a pretty good like 8 out of 10. I, I heard think really I said 8.5 last time, but and when I really sat down to look at it again, I was like, mm, I'll dump it down to an 8. But nonetheless, still really good. It's now in the based on the fans. It's on the top three of the Scream franchise movies. Fire number one and two, obviously being the, the first two. But um, yeah, it's dope that this movie takes place in New York, 
and it wasn't like a gimmick where like Friday the 13th when he was in New York it was like Jason's in New York they had all this and a black movie. guy tries to box him yeah, yeah that movie and but he's not even in New he's in New York <laughs> but like nowhere near scene. Times Square uh-huh. good like yeah. actual New York good yeah. yeah you usually don't you know no it was like a boat he was on a oh. boat to New York Interesting. and when he got to New York he died like 10 minutes after he was oh, in New York okay <laughs> rip fucking so oh. eight, eight, eight point five out of ten. Eight point five out of ten. Then back to what I said earlier. Um, I went to the Harry Potter store for not for the for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> what the fucking spell is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Cease. <laughs> uh, but uh, not only that, I, I platinumed uh, Hogwarts Legacy, which is the Harry Potter game that I spoke about, like I said, three, four podcasts ago. And while I was at the Harry Potter store, oh shit! I got Butter, us a drink. Butterbeer. You got us some potions, bro. Yeah, we're gonna take potions. Some pots, bro. No, I got, I got the four of us butter beer. Oh, let's go. go. Uh, the fourth one's over here. It That's fell out. Fire. But uh, for those who might not know, butter beer is the drink that the Hogwarts kids love to drink. It's like the drink if you go to Hogwarts. Yeah. What's in it? Um, shit. Well, the thing is, is you know they have the butter beer at Universal. The, to be honest, I'll be not not to downplay this drink. The Universal butter beer is a bit better. Well, that's what I was gonna that say. It's it's cold. fire as like, shit. Like it, to explain it to you, when you go to Universal to the Harry Potter world, uh-huh. they they have butter beer trucks. Like you go and they say, serve it quote unquote out of a tap. Oh okay. But what it actually is is it's like a cream soda. And then on the top, they kind of put like a whipped cream frosting on it. So it's just like a sweet oh, soda nice. type drink. Where where do you, uh, I'm getting my my. Can opener. Are these not oh, twist okay. off? No. Are we are we uh-huh. are we drinking an hour? Are we waiting for the double downs? No, nah, fuck it. It's just <laughs> I'm gonna have some of this. Oh, I'm butter beer is right delicious. Yeah, it it's least. cold too. But that's why. So I'm what kind of? So oh, is it, it is. like a butterscotch beer? It's like a butterscotch Kinda, yeah. cream soda. Type okay. Thing. Yeah. It's a so it sounds soda. really good then because I love butterscotch. Well, like I said, the one at Universal, like no joke, like a top drink in my opinion. It's a really good. It's my favorite. It's almost. It's like borderline slushy. Almost. Yeah. It's like it's that you know. You want to open? Oh yeah. I feel I'm, like there, I'm there waiting candy. for you guys to open them. I feel like old people candy, you know, like butterscotch, like Werther's. That stuff is like so yeah, underrated, man. Smoke coming out when I do that. Any old person candy is underrated. It's yeah. just that like it's known as old person candy. Exactly. That's all. We'll, no, not yet. We're gonna fucking salute, oh, bro. That yeah. smells salute. so good. Yeah, holy shit. We need to do oh a St. Patrick's God. Day salute. <laughs> Only Team Joystick this does is a like St. Patrick's <laughs> episode and drink soda together. I need a double down. This is great. I need a double down. This bro, it's a butter beer. We're totally sober, so by the way. Totally sober. All right. All right, salute, boys. Oh, my salute. God. Don't you to love jumble butterscotch? Jumble. I love butterscotch, man. That's good. I like it because it smells like it, but it doesn't taste like it too much. It doesn't taste too much like it, yeah. It's, it's pretty good. tame. But I like it. For what it's worth, the the Universal one is way better. Yeah. The this, the Universal one, they put like whipped cream and yeah. they make they stir it a bit more. This like one it feels fresh. less sweet. I like but that. But I like it too. It's not Ooh. bad. It's like a watered down butter beer. It's good. And how was the Native American metal band? Yeah, that was cool. Um, it, They're a metal band called Black Braid. Nicole loves them, and they're actually coming again in May. That we're probably gonna see them it's again. Gonna be May. But um, they they come out. It's at first. Nicole was explaining to me that the the lead person in the band and a few other members are Native American descent, and like I was like, really? Like these ain't just like these like white guys playing pretending <laughs> they're Native American, and they just like really researched it. But he stepped out. And just on um, facial features and facial structure, I was like, yeah, that guy's Native American. Like, he definitely radiates. Oh, that so what? Vibe. If he looks like a Native American, now he <laughs> is Native American. No, though? like the, we we all have features that we can are identifiable. <laughs> kidding, his kidding. is Native American. <laughs> yes, yes. No, sort of like don't James cancel Paul, me, on Andrew Jackson <laughs> over here. Whoa, fucking smallpox blanket over here, man. <laughs> no, but um, uh, it was cool. His his album art was like a skull, like of deer skulls and like bats, bat skeletons and stuff. <clears throat> Um, he walked out and there was like a dream catcher. He wrapped around the, the yeah. microphone and I thought that was kind of funny. I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, they, a lot of acoustic guitars before like breakdowns of him, like screaming and everything. Um, and then there was a part in the, like everyone's moshing and I'm like watching and recording. Cause I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. Cause he then goes like backstage and pulls out this like thing. That's like dead ass looks like a blow dart. And I was like, <laughs> Oh fuck. Like he's just, gonna start- <laughs> Joey's like, run! It's like, we paid to get murdered? Like, so, like He's all in black to make up, and he's just like, ah! Nah, nah, nah. This, 
And then... <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Like, oh, it's a but, horn. <laughs> but it's still shooting darts out. It's <laughs> beautiful music at the same time. But, uh, yeah, he incorporated that, like, like uh, that flute. And it was like, that's pretty cool. Like, I was cool. I didn't know whether to find it really comical and funny. Or I'm like, this is innovative it's and certainly cool. perf- a performance it's definitely like i i, I, I kind of feel one of the most performancing performances i've yeah seen <laughs> like i kind of get mad that like joey has like these experiences that are like borderline surreal like, yeah. like, yeah, I, like they're I, not I go to, real i go to a concert it's like either great or people just look annoyed like joey is seeing someone that's doing <laughs> some shit i saw a guy dressed as power ranger <laughs> <laughs> You went to that one place that was like eight stages at once with like the cholos oh, or whatever. Yeah. I I think that or, sounds familiar. Or it was like the biker people. I don't know. It was but like Mexican biker. Last like, thing <laughs> before I pass it over to Jerry uh, about surreal stories. Um, since it's St. Patrick's Day, when I was a freshman, I I was in a theater club, and the two seniors like took me along to go hang posters of the show we were performing around the neighborhood, and uh, they were both Irish, and they got in these like. 16 or like 18 year old guys they get in their car and they put in dropkick murphys and they're blasting that shit mad loud like so these irish like back like Hudley. and this puerto rican me this puerto rican kid in the back like whoa As what the freshman. hell is going on i'm a freshman <laughs> and they're speeding and like my parents normally go like a moderate speed limit like i never really paid attention to it his parents are law abiding yeah. word you know? and then next thing you know i'm speeding and this guy knows where exactly where the bumps are so he speeds faster to do like a little jump listening to dropkick murphy's and i'm like ah! it was definitely a saint patrick's day story and then you vibe. started driving with jose and you were used to it. yeah then driving with jose yeah. got me used oh, to it is this how you drive oh yeah <laughs> It's not that fast. Fucking this guy over here. What's up, working man? Yeah. Working man. One weekend, boy. How's it been, bud? Uh, It's been chill, man. You know? Uh, Schwerk. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a really long uh, onboarding process at my job. So I've just been more or less in just chilling in meetings and like seeing how people work. Because mm-hmm. it's like super different from like what i've done before was like just basically students just like messing around on the project yeah now it's like actual yeah now there's like they have like three yeah they have shit on the line here like three programs like tracking like progress for projects and stuff and like shit talking about a bunch of like uh abbreviations so how long before you're running the company yeah (laughs) (laughs) i mean i haven't even i haven't even like coded i think i start coding in like like six months Yeah. yeah yeah (laughs) <laughs> we only strive for perfection here at Joyce. Like, if we can't do it together, we're going to the top in our own individual yeah, rights, just bro. Been like uh, signing up for stuff and like uh, they, they give me like free tea. It's pretty cool. Mm, I don't cool. really drink tea, but now I'm going to start drinking tea. No, anyway. drink tea. It's good Take for you. Take advantage of the work. Like <laughs> give you a Every work tea perk, bro. No, Every work me like a tea subscription. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah like tea of the like month. A, that's bro, the that's like, I don't want yeah. that shit. Can I get like strain of the month? Start drinking that tea, Jerry. Yeah. but like I think they do have that, though. Like some of my... It's cool. Because, like, I think this job is, like, uh, you know, it's, like, real flexible because, like, some of my team members, they, they're already, like, not home. Like, they're, like, on vacation and, like, still working and stuff. So, it's, like, I don't know. I know a lot of people like that who like, are in that vibe, business yeah. and they do a lot of shit. Just, like, I, I knew a guy who actually, like, went to live in Costa Rica for a couple months. Yeah, and he had that's that job. very popular. The yeah. two most popular countries for that are Costa Rica and Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. Are super popular for like the computer science or mm-hmm. you should yeah, we should have like joystick that. business cards and Jerry should just pass them to his like colleagues. And There's a guy yeah. in my company that <laughs> at, like, at home in he his works house. like in it's like somewhere in Asia, so he like works at night, so it doesn't look like he's working. Yeah, but he's working. Mm. Yeah. It's oh like, yeah, that makes sense. The time difference. Like yeah. Yeah. He has to work. Yeah. He has to work he in the middle of the like, night. Notes and stuff. It's like when you catch those overseas <laughs> streamers. Like, yeah, why are you streaming exactly. like six in the morning, dog? Oh, it's like eight o'clock at night. That's dude. how I felt about the Canadian streamers I followed. I used to be like, he was like, hey, we're going live at 3 a.m. And I was like, what? Canadian. They're right the, above us. No, but it was like a different time zone. Like, whenever yeah, I would want to do a, something, Canada has a slightly have, different like, four, time zone. Don't they? Something like that. Canada we had four. Canada yeah. has five time zones. Oh, shit. Because they have the they have the the DR Puerto Rico one that's an hour ahead because it's uh, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, stuff like that. Yeah, because they up there. Yeah, gotcha. but I don't know what Joey's talking about. With the camera. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah we're, I was like, it's like a two hour times. difference. It's like that's know. like melee shit too, right? It's like oh, yeah. tournament. It starts at three yeah, in California. Like oh, uh, like with my my internship is is an hour time difference. That shit fucks me up all the time. It yeah. auto adjusts. I don't care. It's yeah. I'm still confused. Yeah, I can't send like. 
certain people's stuff until like 12 because mm-hmm. they like start at nine also sorry to cut you off for one second i found it very uh like disorienting for me coming back from D- the dominican republic like days before the daylight savings change so it was like an hour right. difference i come back and then the hour changes mm-hmm. and that fucked me up for like two or three days <laughs> yeah like i was yeah. tired out of my mind mm-hmm. and my mom brought it up and i was like ah that's why right well, didn't they want to get rid of that I think they're still like it's a, it's talking like about it. They're probably gonna get rid of it. Yeah, they they have to vote on it. It ain't all broke. That. Don't fix. It. Give us some years, you know. But I anyways, think they're gonna get rid of it. Anything else, buddy? Forever. Uh, I've been working out again. I'm kind of brawling. Oh, look Let's at that! Go. Watch out. What you doing? What you doing? <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of because I have a machine in my basement. All right. So I've been doing some of that. What machine do you have in your basement? Uh, it's like a regular workout machine. Like it has some like like a pull down and stuff like that's that that's not the one that was upstairs I'm a, I'm, I'm, it's, it looks like that one but it's oh, like okay. more yeah 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 okay. so and then and he's got two gyms yeah yeah, does, yeah does, right that. I'm taking it serious man and I go to, I have a, a subscription at the gym mm-hmm. yeah Let's I'm gonna go. get Brock this year damn I've also decided that I did my uh, first 12 minute heavy bag 5 round routine yesterday nice. I'll be doing it every other day my shoulders are on fire right now Good. but Let's get it. it's fun now can we like go to the beach maybe if we're I also yeah, forgot how like not good at boxing I am but decent at punching I am because yeah. I was like I haven't done it in a few years but I got back on it and I was like oh shit I'm fast but my stamina sucks I have to build that up <laughs> I'm fast for like one minute and then I'm like <laughs> I have to work out again. I always feel like I I begin in January, February. Sometimes I go into March, and by April I give up on it. Word. All right. Uh, so I, I've, I've got this year. I've got something. He, uh, he has got a, he has, he has got something. Shot. He's gotten something cheeky going I, on. I don't know. I'm saying it in a British accent. If I could do an Irish accent, I would do it in an Irish oh, accent. Bro. Wait. Before we continue, <laughs> Irish bro. I, so we had. I, I know. I mentioned to Bobby that we had a St. Patrick's Day episode last year. Oh yeah, you Did said we? he said didn't. Yeah. Right? So last year, what? Yeah, I yeah. I didn't remember this. I don't remember this, I don't remember this at last all. Last year, what Joey wasn't here for our St. Patrick's. It was me, Bobby, and Dylan. And are you I was sure here. Dylan and I were there? <laughs> are we? Are we positive? And I was sitting here, and I had like these super, like really dark eye, dark circles under my eyes, and I was just talking about like coding shit. Yeah. <laughs> and we were, <laughs> and Bobby right. was t- getting really hype, and he was really excited <laughs> that we were because. Uh, the video had just come out talking about the Smash World Tour, and he was like, "You're gonna catch me at Apex 2022." <laughs> <laughs> that just made me like, sad. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta make me hurt like that? He was uh, like, "Pup one last year, but this year's gonna be <laughs> this different." This gonna be different. <laughs> <laughs> melee, fucking melee, man. Melee died, man. Yeah, no, it's different. <laughs> fucking sad. <laughs> but on a on a higher, much nicer, happier note. Can you can you you could do like an Irish accent a little bit, right? Do it. Can you can you just like say like uh like get ready, but like in an Irish accent? Hmm. Was sipping the get bottle. Get whip, laddies. Okay. <laughs> nice. I don't, I don't know what the I'll fuck you it. just said. I said get curly well, get whip the laddies. <laughs> Throw these around. Yeah. I like how he grabbed the bottle. Can you grab Throw the bottle like that now. again, Dylan? <laughs> Do it again. Oh, here comes Bobby with the fucking segment off. <laughs> God. <laughs> anyway. It's radiating. <laughs> anyway. Yes, I've cooked up a little bit of a St. Patrick's segment. Bobby's a dumbass with the segment. <laughs> For the day. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. I've fucking, just transferred. Uh, if everybody could do me a favor and look away from the TV, oh, okay. just like look over there or something, you know, because I don't know a better way of doing this yet. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I would like to introduce everybody to my new oh, St. Patrick's Day segment oh, that I no. like to call Oh fuck. Pilo Patrick's. <laughs> It's like Patrick Pilo Star. Patrick's. Welcome one and all to Pilo Patrick. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you thought St. Patrick's Day was the day we celebrate St. Patrick? No, no we celebrate oh Paul Patrick. 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 <laughs> yeah. Patrick's Day. So I have got for you a fun multiple choice trivia segment like today this. where we will be talking cool. about eight of the world's most famous, famous Patrick's. Patrick's. You guys ready? I will yes. keep score as we go, but ladies and gentlemen. This is Pilo Patrick. Oh, I hate this. Number one. We're going to start it off with the, the main man himself. That's some famous okay. Patrick's. Which of the following is St. Patrick not a patron saint of? Ireland, paralegals, coffee, engineers. Uh, coffee. Paralegals sounds really out of place. So I'll go for that one. 
engineers. I say copy. Three different answers. Watch it be Ireland. That's a fun one. I'll tell you right now, he is the patron saint of Ireland. Okay. But he is not the patron saint of coffee. Good job, Ooh, Joey. Uh, he is the patron saint of paralegals and engineers. Pain. Saint Drogo. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Is the patron saint of coffee. Drogo. Good job, Joey. One yeah, for I you. I totally knew that. All right. <laughs> you guys ready for number two? Yeah. All right. Oh, my guy. Which of the following characters... Did Patrick Stewart not voice in Family Guy? Dick Pump, British Batman, Susie Swanson subconscious, or a talking cat? A talking cat. What was the first one? The first one was Dick Pump. What was the second one? Second one is British Batman. Who's Dick Pump? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's Dick Pump. <laughs> No way, Dick Pump's not real. It was Dick Pump. Dick, Dick Pump. Dick Pump, dude. Why did no one say anything until I <laughs> I'm going to go with Dick Pump. Fuck it. I'm going, with Dick, I'm going with Dick Pump. I'm going with Dick Pump. <laughs> Two for Dick Pump, one for a talking cat. I'm afraid nobody is correct. Oh, here. is it? Is the he has voiced Dick Pump. Dick Pump is a British cutaway gag character who is happens to be Quagmire's neighbor, nice. British neighbor. Great. He is also the voice of Susie Swanson, subconscious and a talking cat in a cutaway segment. He is not the voice of British Batman. Oh, I knew that. That is Damn. not a real wow. thing. Yeah. Fun fact: He's actually voiced though I think like over six characters on Family Guy, and he has played Jean Luc Picard, his famous Star Trek character, in five different shows. Two of which are Family Guy and Robot Chicken. The other three wow. are actual Star Trek shows. You guys, ready for one. number three? The third Patrick. Yo. For Grey's Anatomy's first 11 seasons, Patrick Dempsey played neurosurgeon Derek McDreamy Shepherd at what fictional hospital? Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital, Evergreen General Hospital, Washington Medical Center, or St. Xavier's Hospital? Uh, the first one. Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital. That one. I feel like I, I I feel bad about this because what I did. What show is this? I have Anatomy. I have watched this show. Can you name all of them again? Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital. Okay. Evergreen General Hospital, Washington Medical Center, and Saint Xavier's Hospital. I'm gonna go with the fourth one. It's three or four, I believe, but I'm not sure. I'm going with Washington Medical Center. I'm going with four. Three different answers. You go with the first one. Yeah. Joey's right again. Nice. It is yeah. Gray Sloan Memorial. That sounds hospital. like a fucking hospital on Gray's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah, I never watched out, it, but it. It's Mick Dreamy. You guys ready for number four? Yeah. Dylan's probably going to get excited. Nice. <laughs> in 2003, the New York Knicks honored Patrick Ewing by hanging his jersey in the rafters at Madison Square Garden. Yes. What number's on the jersey? Is it 24, 7, 33, or 15? 24. 7. I don't know this, actually. Wow. 33. Correct answer is 33. Nice Let's go. Good job, Jerry. Nice. That is two points for Joey, one point for Jerry. He wore the 33 number in three different teams. 44. Guys ready for uh, our next Patrick, totally real Patrick? Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> My favorite. Which street is Patrick Stars Rock located on in Bikini Bottom? Is it Shellfish Boulevard? Is it Conch Street? Is it Porpoise Place? Or is it Atlantis Avenue? It's one. So Shellfish Boulevard. Shellfish Boulevard. What's number two? Conch Street. Yeah, it's Conch Street. And the other two? Porpoise Place, Atlantis Avenue. I'm going to go with Joey's. What did you say? The first one, Shellfish, Shellfish Boulevard. Mm -hmm. The answer is Conch Street. Ooh. Dylan is correct. Oh, finally. That is a point Let's for Dylan, go. a point for Jerry, and two for Joey. Patrick Starr's address is 120 Conch Street. Hmm. Spongebob what was two doors down Google at 124. That? It shows Patrick Starr's house. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, no, I don't know about Google Maps. That'd yeah, be kind that's of what hilarious, I'm looking for. It's probably a different house. It is. It's a mm -hmm. legitimate address. It's 120 Con Street, Bikini Bottom, Pacific Ocean. Like, that's the actual... I wonder if like, it like, actually gives us an area on this ocean. <laughs> All right. We got uh, two on two one one. Cool. Okay. Ready for number Ooh, six yes. out of eight? Chris Kerr. Patrick Mahomes may be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL today, but his father, Pat, also had a cannon for an arm. What MLB team did Pat Mahomes not pitch for? The Baltimore <laughs> Orioles, the Minnesota Twins, the New York Mets, or the Texas Rangers? 
This is annoying, bro. This is so specific, bro. Even bro. I don't. Even I don't know. This. <laughs> You're the, the sports guy. Bro. I don't. I don't know this. How the fuck are these? That's guys why it's multiple get? choice. Minnesota Twins. Okay. Can you name the first? I mean, the first. I'll just, I'll just do them again. again. Baltimore Orioles. Minnesota if I Twins. Get this right. I want a coin. New York Mets. Texas Rangers. <sighs> Orioles. I'm gonna go Orioles. It's Orioles or Rangers, I believe. Mm-hmm. Minnesota Twins. The correct answer is the Baltimore Orioles. You are all tied at yeah. two. <laughs> Let's go. That, sh- that switched it up Let's go. significantly. <laughs> Which, by the way, his dad sucked at baseball except for the Mets. Yeah. He was very good on the Mets. Yeah, I nice. remember his him being stats were very Mets. lackluster. <laughs> you guys ready for number seven? Yeah. Oh! Ah. Everyone, the number one. Krisker. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Famous lead singer for Fall Out Boy, Patrick Stump, originally auditioned for what part in the band? The keyboard player, rhythm guitarist, bass guitarist, or drummer? I love how you hid the guitar. I was like about to count the strings. No, no, no. I mean, he is the guitarist now and singer, but yeah. he, he auditioned for... I'm going to say he auditioned for... What were the rules again? Keyboard player, rhythm guitarist, bass guitarist, drummer. I'm going to go keyboard. I'm going to say keyboard player keyboard he actually auditioned to be the drummer of fallout oh, and then they heard his voice and they were like oh, you better at that that's crazy da, da, da. And a very similar story that was also similar to uh brendan Urie panic at the disco auditioned to play guitar and got the singing role mm. and last but not least one of you's got to get this to, to win because all of you are at two and i don't really have a tiebreaker I'm, I'll hey come up, hey I'll, hey i'll come hey, up with something hey man. hey hey Hey, this is a Neil. Oh, no, I was going to get to it. <laughs> this is a Neil. We've got a Neil Patrick Harris, okay? I was going to throw in Danica Patrick Joy, for fun. There's also I, Dan Patrick. But then I was like, nah, like, he hosts a show on NBC. Bro, you should have right. done Chris Kirkpatrick. Man. Yeah, right. <laughs> you should have Patrick Bateman. You could get your ass kicked. Worse than the little limp kisket baskets. And Moby, you could get stomped by Obi. I just keep doing Eminem lyrics. <laughs> oh, poor Hunter. Can somebody let the cat out of the bag? See what I did there? It's Our like double a, downs are seven minutes away. Fire, fire. Aw, he wants Nico. to leave. Can you hurry up? We have one more fucking question, Dylan. This, this, is, me this is killing me. Yes. All right, number eight. Neil Patrick Harris is a man of many talents, ranging from acting and singing to magic. Despite his artistic nature, what occupation did both of his parents share as a child? Teachers, doctors, lawyers, or farmers? They both were doctors. They were both teachers. They were both farmers. We have an interesting predicament here. <laughs> <laughs> they were lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's a two-way tie for St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. A three-way tie. Yay. Yay. We all win. Friendship. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Here's, here's, a, here's a tiebreaker. If anybody actually gets this, you win, okay? His parents, here's a little side fun fact with it. His parents also owned a side business together. If anybody can guess what the side business was, I'll let you in. Dylan, what do you think it was? Laundromat. What do you think it was? Arcade. <laughs> what do you think it was? Uh, Jerry, Jerry Sneaker reselling. It was actually <laughs> a restaurant. Uh, uh, all right. Um, what did they sell at this restaurant? <laughs> First person to say a color wins this segment. Blue. All right, good job, Dylan. Congratulations <laughs> to Dylan. My favorite St. Patrick's Day color. <laughs> you said a color. You said a color. Dylan should lose for that, honestly. <laughs> Why the? You're talking to the guy who's wearing your size too small shirt right now. <laughs> You're Irish and you didn't come wearing green. That's Dane. I put it in the chat, bro. I know. And it got We're all fucking Caribbean Hispanic, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, Damn, man. I, we still got to this country first somehow. <laughs> yeah, right? Crazy how that works. <laughs> Enjoy your fucking potato famine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thanks for playing Pile o Patricks, and congratulations to technically all of you for winning. And you know, only I heard Dylan for losing. <laughs> you know what's a fun fact I heard? What's I heard you're not, supposed to, I, you're not supposed to order an Irish car bomb in Ireland. Yeah, Interesting. they find it offensive. It is. I didn't even know. That's oh, a drink, wow. right? Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. Can you imagine? I'll have an Irish car, but and they immediately like slam Stab your head. head. Like, I feel like that'd bang. be like fucking offensive to Americans with like the whole the Omaha bombings, fucking yeah. or Oklahoma bombings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were Irish literal car bombers. So nah, just that'd be saying. like going to Ameri- that'd be like going to New York and be like, let me get a nine eleven. 
<laughs> give me, yeah. give me, give me, give me. They should have that. The yeah. twin, the twin tower shot, and it's like smoking at the top. Oh my god! Here comes, here comes playing too. <laughs> oh my god! I know the highlight to start this episode now. <laughs> Oh, you guys fucking horrible. Oh god. It's horrible but it's hilarious. No, it's great. It's great. We're no. allowed. We're from New York. We're allowed. We're, we yeah, get, we're we from get New York. we get one free one. We get one pass. We get one, like one as long pa- as it's not actually every- in September, we get a free pass. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you didn't hear Spider-Man or what? what? <laughs> Everyone gets one. Oh. <laughs> I was like, when did Spider-Man say? When did Sp- <laughs> Spider-Man he said he, he's he like, he's he's like everyone gets one. It was him. He knocked him down. It was Spider-Man. He was the one. It was like the, the villain. Jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams, but sweat fluid? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Web it might be a different fucking... I, don't, I think we're thinking the wrong things, man. Yeah, Back in, <laughs> to get off the topic of 9-11, uh, Jerry and I did something yesterday. <gasps> we did a we did a friend retreat with, yeah. with Ronfi. We went to Yo. go see another superhero movie, because yeah. that's what Jerry and I do. We went to go see Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Shazam. And I have to say, that was a pretty mid movie. Yeah. Oh, damn. Hella yeah. mid. Like, you know, not terrible, but considering the first one was as good as it was, this one just did not hit yeah. the mark. Me and Bobby watched it in his room. Uh, What are you talking about? The first one. Shazam? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. Point is, anyway. This one was like, uh, it, there was parts where it was like, all right, this is a kid's movie. You know? Yeah. I also didn't like the fact that, like, granted, it happens at the end of the first movie. Sorry, spoiler for anybody who didn't watch fucking Shazam one six years ago or whenever it was, but fucking... You know, at the end of that movie, all the kids get the powers. So then, like, going into the second Shazam, it feels weird that, like, you know, Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Shazam, isn't, like, the main character. And now it feels like they're all the main character all of a sudden. I don't know. It just felt weird considering, like, at the end of the day, Shazam is supposed to be the big the guy, you know, that he's supposed to be him. But fucking, uh, you know, the whole movie was all right up until, in my opinion, the very end, where then there was some stuff that saved it. I thought that end fight scene with the dragon was fucking sick visually. Yeah, that, that kind of saved to it watch. a little bit. It was also, like, very seriously toned, you know? And then it gets followed up by a very stupid ending scene that kind of killed it, in my opinion. Oh, shit, really? Can I spoil it? Please, yeah. So this is actually kind of a major spoiler alert. So if you, if you want to see Shazam Fury of the Gods and you haven't, you've been warned. Uh, Shazam dies at the end of the movie. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. there's like a ma- it's like a massive explosion, and Billy Batson dies, and they bury him in uh, the the realm of the gods. That's a kid. He is a kid. He's 18, mm-hmm. or he turns 18. That's like old, that's like one of the things in the movie. Then they were like, oh, we can kill him now. Yeah, right. <laughs> but like you know, the uh, watching it, it made sense to me because this is the last yeah. movie before the Flash, which mm-hmm. reboots it, and then Blue Beetle, which is gonna be the first in the reboot. So I was like, maybe this is just their way of getting rid of him and then opening yeah. room. I would have respected it if they ended it. Yeah, I would have been like, oh, this is a good movie. Exactly. <laughs> it, like it actually ended on serious like tone. Yeah, there's some. Real uh, but then. After they bury him, they're all like, is there no way we could bring him back? And the wizard is like, unfortunately, there's no gods left to power the staff or whatever. And then a, and a, a voice from off screen is like, there's actually <laughs> hey, one god guys. left. Yes. <laughs> a voice off screen is like, there's actually one god left. And then it pans and Batman. it shows Wonder Woman's like ankle braces. And the reason I point that out is because earlier in the movie, there's a dream sequence where... Billy Batson or Shazam goes on a date with Wonder Woman, but it's like a woman dressed in the suit. They don't show her face. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like supposed to be implied. And, but they, and they also make a joke out of it where like they put the wizard's face on hers because he like starts to talk to him in dreams and shit. (laughs) But later in the movie, they play the same joke, but they make the reveal that this time around it's actually Gal Gadot. So it's legit Mm -hmm. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. So she comes, she grabs the staff. She like brings magic to the realm once again, and it revives Billy Batson. So he comes out of the ground zombie style and he's like, Oh my God, guys, I'm alive. And I was low-key like, yeah. That's kind of annoying. Like, I, even if they would have brought him back, it would have been. A, there's probably a cooler way, in my opinion. But they, yeah. it was so fast. Like, it was like literally. And then Wonder Woman came and then brought him back. Yeah, pretty I'm much. Ima- yeah, I'm just imagining. This like, low oh, key yes. feels like like a middle schooler. But all like, I, movie. all I got out <laughs> of it, all the friends came. All I got out of it, in my opinion, was I felt like it was just their way of saying, "Hey, Shazam and Wonder Woman aren't going anywhere. Like, they're yeah. gonna stay for the past the reboot." And you I was like, that, "Okay, that's you fine. say that, Joey. That that made you feel like it was one a middle school movie. There was a part where like." Uh, this little girl's like throwing skittles at a, a unicorn. Oh yeah, and yeah. She's, like leading a unicorn army. Exactly. They're like, uh, there's like, <laughs> they unleash all these mythical creatures, and they find out that the unicorns are actually like some of the most savage, dangerous mythical yeah. creatures. Like all the other creatures are afraid what, of them. What are they attracted to? Uh, Ambrosia. Ambrosia. Like They're like, oh, nectar. skittles so are the like, closest thing we have. And then, you know, she was like, oh, she tames the unicorn. This movie just died. so stupid. <laughs> and then just to spoil that, the post-credit scene: two of the agents from Peacemaker, the John Cena series, meet 
up with uh, Shazam to recruit him to the Justice Society, which is kind of cool. So uh, the Justice Society. The he John also Cena he also makes society. a joke because they say justice, and he's like, "Yes, of course." Yeah. And then when they say society, he's like, "You you don't mean the league." And they're like, no, the Justice Society and Evie. He's like, isn't it weird that you have two superhero teams and they both have justice in it? That's and true. Yeah. He's so like, I'm trying aware. to fuck Wonder Woman. And then he's like, and then he goes, <laughs> and then he, yeah, and then he goes on his phone and he's like, he's like, I'm on the the source right now. You could do the 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 Code Society. No, that doesn't sound good. And he's like, how about this one, the Avenger Society? I kind of <laughs> like that one. And then it cuts after that. <laughs> but you know, it's just a very. I think it got a 55 percent on RT. I'd give it like a six out of ten. I don't think it was that that any more special, you know. I'd even say a five point five because I don't remember what I yeah. gave Ant Man. I think I gave Ant Man like a seven point five. Yeah, so. yeah, you did. Something Something like that, yeah. Sometimes you gotta review those and then be like, mm, yeah. so I got yeah, I got it down <laughs> a little bit on my scale. But you know, I, I at the end it's of the day, whatever. it's a fun movie. You know, yeah. that was what I heard and going into it, I was like that. I, I told Jerry, I was like, I think that I finally figured it out with superhero movies. Sorry, Jerenson, if you're listening. Yeah, my scale. There's, a, there's an appeal to bad superhero movies. It's also. not even that. It's just like my thing is I don't really give a shit if a, <clears throat> if a superhero movie is good cinematically. Right. I just want to have a fun ass time. Yeah. Like that's the whole point of going to see these movies. Are I'm they expecting fun? the story good. to be kind of. That's cheesy, what they're right? meant to be. They're meant to be predictable. They're meant to kind exactly. of. Yeah, the, the food you said seven minutes ago. I don't know how long. Jerry's on yeah. it. Jerry's got the phone under the table, bro. <laughs> <laughs> whenever, <laughs> whenever Jerry's not active on the podcast, his eyes are glued to that fucking phone. Oh, okay, you cool. better believe yeah, it. It says uh, almost here, but they've been chilling. What's our know? driver's name? Uh, he's a uh, Raul. Let's go, Raul. Let's go, Raul. Fucking Raul, Raul's uh, doubling down right now. But that's uh, <laughs> that's the review of Shazam. You know, I would give it a watch if you have nothing else to do. I would all. I'd, I'd argue there's some better movies coming out in the month of March. One of which I'm going to see on Thursday, and I'm super excited about. But we'll talk more about that next week. No, can I can I bring something up? Because I can't I, I can't bring this up next week. It can only fit in St. Patrick's Day. Cause okay. Um, I celebrated St. Patrick's Day in my classroom <laughs> by uh, dec- like by I getting think- drunk. Yeah, I got drunk in front of all my students. Can you students. explain that whole thing real quick? It's kind of like the Elf on the Shelf kind of spiel, right? Kind of. Like, I've been seeing a lot of memes as of last year uh, of our generation reminiscing of like, oh, remember when the leprechaun came in pre-K and kindergarten and first grade? And I was like, no. No. <laughs> what the hell is this? I remember the recorder. I had to Google it when remember. you posted something It's like, about like Recorder, it like, Christmas. It's like what? Recorder, Scholastic Book Fair. It was always Santa. Santa Chicken was sandwich at lunch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't remember... Uh, the yo-yo guy. Leprechaun I think I got a leprechaun one year, I think, but it was like really out of place. But what's it's like a we got yeah. a whole parade. Yeah. So what ha- what's supposed to happen is that the children work together to make a leprechaun trap, and then they place it in the classroom, and then when they're outside of the classroom and the teachers are there, another teacher or someone on the inside working at the school breaks the trap purposefully, <laughs> <laughs> breaks the trap and ruins the classroom. <laughs> Bro, what if it was like, what if your kids made some like jigsaw level trap or some shit <laughs> yeah, like that? Kids, were... Fucking drills coming into the le- leprechaun's fucking head. <laughs> like, like, like we're gonna, this trap. will kill him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One kid just grabs a knife. He's like, I'm ready, bro. It's like, what, bro? <laughs> I'm ready for him. So, uh, who, okay, so who, who was responsible for fucking up? Food's uh, here? Yeah. yeah. You want to get on there? Yeah. But who was responsible for fucking up the classroom? <laughs> um, my mother. <laughs> 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 so, I, and not only this. I have recordings of her doing yes. this. <laughs> you can watch my mother destroy <laughs> a little child's drawing. Um, what happened was, uh, so the kids make it, and one of this, one of the, I have this really this student that's really smart is this girl, and she was saying, use your iPad to use it as a security camera so we can catch him. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And I, I quick thinking, I was like, I'll edit the video so yeah. it, like it'll look like he was there. So I start recording. And we leave, and then uh, that's where you see my mom's recording. So I cropped that, and then played it when we entered, and then spliced the videos together. So it just cuts, right? So you see the classroom all clean, and it just cuts to it messed up. And to them, it's like magic. They're like, how did he do that? Oh, my (laughs) God. And I was like, bro, I don't know. (laughs) The teacher in me is like, oh, but the editor in me is like, you fucking idiots. (laughs) (laughs) Idiots. Like really cut edit, like really bad, <laughs> and um, so they're like, "Oh my god, how do you do that?" And uh, I also have a recording of when we're entering, and all the kids start noticing that there's gold coins scattered in the classroom. Hey, thanks, Dylan. Um, so there's gold coins scattered in the classroom, and they all start running, and they're all collecting and yelling. We're sponsored, by the way. <laughs> 
They're running and collecting, and then I see one <laughs> blocking Joey's face. <laughs> I just wanted to put the colonel. Yeah. <laughs> the colonel. This one boy starts crying, and pobrecito, I feel bad because he's just like crying, and I'm like taking gold coins because I'm thinking that's why he's crying. Mm. I'm like, here, get some, get some, and he's like, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I think with like all the hype and seeing the chairs flip, the trap <laughs> broken, and all this stuff, this kid has a they're like, "What is this leprechaun capable <laughs> of?" Still here. I think that's what he thought. So you know, my assistant's holding him and rocking Aww. him, and I eventually get Poor down guy. to his level, and I'm like holding him and telling him, "It like, was it's my okay. mom. My mom ruined the class. <laughs> my mom ruined it. It's oh, okay. It's not yeah. real." So uh, it's now nap time, and he's a little scared to go to sleep, Dito. So I'm like, "It's okay." So I put him on the rug where all the children are. He's normally like by himself. So I'm like, "Look, you're surrounded by all your friends. It's all right." So I go to lunch, and it's just only 30 minutes, and I have to come back. And my assistant, my wonderful, I love her. My wonderful assistant comes back and goes, I drew a shamrock while he was sleeping on his hand. So we're going to wake up and tell him that the leprechaun like drew something on his hand. <laughs> Your assistant's a dick. <laughs> I was like, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. This is, but hey, it could be a good thing. Like he's making peace. You but know? that's exactly yeah. what I tied the twist it yeah, to. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm waking him up. I put on our good morning, like our good afternoon song. And they're all like slowly waking up. And I'm like, hey, how is everything? He's like, oh, I said the kid's name. Bleep him. Gotcha. But uh, he's like, shout out to Todd. <laughs> shout out hey, to Todd. Todd. Everyone's Todd. Um, but uh, he's like rubbing his eyes and shit. And I'm like, yeah, are you okay? Uh, all right, come on, stretch. Let me see. Stretch forward. And he moves and he looks and he goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not registering he's like what happened. And then my assistant's like. Oh, the leprechaun. Oh, he came. He's strong. He drew on you. And he's just kind of like. And then I, I then I switched it around. I said, yeah, he was your friend. He wants to tell you that he's not scary. And he yeah. gave you a tattoo. <laughs> he gave you a drawing to let you know that he's your friend. You see, Dylan, yeah. I'm inspirational. But Joey's fucking. <laughs> Joey's a saint. Joey's man. saving lives. Exactly. Right? But he, 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 he digged it. He was like, yeah. He, his mom picked him up and he showed it to his mom. And I was like, yeah. <clears throat> Fire. The leprechaun. The leprechaun. <laughs> Wait till next year when Bobby comes dressed as a leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, I told Joey I was gonna dress up in a leprechaun suit and just with a baseball bat just fuck up his classroom. Oh yeah, fucking coming drunk it. off my ass too. <laughs> <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> Bobby has like a list of catchphrases. He's like, all right, uh. <laughs> get ready for the shamrock shake. <laughs> No, like I have all follow the rainbow that led me here, motherfucker. <laughs> I have all these cute imagery. I'm reading these books about the leprechaun, and it comes Bobby like disheveled. Bobby's this is, pull it off. Is this your trap? Bobby's already is this like, this your like trap? a quarter of the way there. <laughs> <laughs> is this your trap? <laughs> Don't just scold me, bitch. <laughs> it's like, Bobby, you're supposed to come when they were away. Just cursing at five year old children. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to salute again. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's open this bad boy. What's up with these sealable bags? How do they even seal yeah, these? Yeah, I hate man? that shit. Word, how do they seal it? I think those? they like melt it together. <clears throat> like a heat gun? There's like a, there's, there's like a glue. It's like the glue like thing. And then they Why like. Why go through all that effort? I mean, it's to keep our food safe. Yeah, it's the heal. So nobody can heat. touch it. Nobody and also the heat. It. You remember early Uber Eats? That they used to basically give you with the bag open. So we, we only got four Word. sandwiches, right? Yeah. Nothing else? Nope. Because we have our drink. One for Dylan. Thank you. Dylan. One for Jerry. Dylan. Oh, God. This looks magical, bro. One for Joey. Dylan. You got to show it on the camera what it... Oh, I, and mine fell out it's of the so bag. so warm. <laughs> no way. It's in this bag. Okay. Hey. I thought it fell on the floor. Well, here's the reveal. I'll just pull it out of here. Ladies hey. and gentlemen. Oh, my God. This is a messy ass sandwich. Do you want to use mine <laughs> for no, the video? It. Ready? The double down. Wow. Jesus. Jeez. Two this pieces of chicken as... Holy shit, this is a messy sandwich. Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. oh, my God. It's not a sandwich. <laughs> it's not a sandwich. This is not, I think we, went, we found it out. This is yeah. where we all figured... This is where Bobby finally admits that it's not a Listen, sandwich. the first time I got it, you know, a decade ago, it wasn't this uh, messy. Wow. Yo, pause, but I don't know if I can fit this all in my mouth. <laughs> Y'all guys ready to just, uh, you know... Hold on, let, me, let me get a good angle. You know, you gotta get a. Yeah, good I don't even know angle. the angle. To, I, think. I got it. I got. I got a good eating angle. I got the side with the sauce. <laughs> First and last time, I'm gonna let you buy in this. Where? Right, ready? This looks mad good. All right, bro. ready. Hmm. 
Hell yeah. That's fucking great, bro. Mm-hmm. It's back, baby. <laughs> the seasonings are good. I don't taste any sauce. The best, the the sauce? best MVP Thank right you. now. Thank you, Dylan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Mm-hmm. Shit is not easy when you have a beard. Holy hell. Hmm. I know we're doing a podcast, but I need a second bite. I just need a second. This podcast slowly turned into a, like a mukbang. <laughs> it's just us like, mm. I'll visit you in a couple of minutes, baby. Fire. I feel like KFC seasonings, like it's breading is really good, but that's all they got really going. Can someone for them. pass me a paper towel? Yes, sir. Right there. Thank you, sir. So I think this is a good place to go into jam and yam of the podcast. Hold up. I got to take a separate photo. I mean, I guess I can do it later. That was oh, a picture? Yeah. No, I'm just saying that we could go to Jam and Yam so we could wrap things up. We could say goodbye to these lovely people behind the screen. And we could eat some double downs. What do you guys think? Yeah. Thanks, I could start dude. off. I, I know what my jam is going to be. The only thing is it's a really <clears throat> fucking weird long name, and I don't even really know where to start. But the jam of the week this week is going to go to a song called Song for Denise by Piano Fantasia. Ooh. Oh, it's not the song. It's it's the. Uh, you want to hear the album it's on? Hold on. The album it's on is Best of Collector Piano Fantasia Le Meilleur de Anne 80. So, <laughs> there you go. Nice. I think it's French or something. It just makes me sound like I'm in a Rocky training video. So, there's the jam of the week. All right. So, my my song of the week, right? My bam of the week is off the new 100 Gex album. It's called Frog on the Floor. Fire. It's a good song. This listen. album blew my fucking mind. It's bro. really deep. You just really got to listen to the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I wonder what they are. It's <laughs> great. I'll go next. Um, I was having a hard time because when I listen to like work, when I do work or do homework or whatever, I listen to music the whole time. <clears throat> so it ends up just being like I have. I'm on like a month and a half back a lot because I'm like I'm gonna pick this for the yam, yeah. and by the time I reach next week, I'm already on a different That'd vibe. So my yam of the week is the return of. The God Skrillex. Oh wow! He oh, came shit, out. He yeah. came out with two albums. Mm-hmm. Wow! Back to back. First one's good. Second one's ass. But yep. uh, <laughs> exactly. the, the the album, the song I'm picking is Rumble uh, by Skrillex. Very yeah. good. Makes the song makes you feel like you're getting stalked. That's the best way I could describe huh. it. Yeah, you're like damn. You're like damn. Someone's watching me right I now. I might like that. I'm yeah. Interesting. And it yeah. has a grime rapper on it. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm the grime rapper. Joey, gonna say something right, right now. I don't know. It's just that's grime in my head. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. There's um, another song, "Butterflies," on there. It's good. Butterflies, don't we fly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> start, start as a caterpillar. That's now a really, butterfly. That's a really good Transform. Irish accent. Transform. We're in the cocoon. Sorry, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> uh, God, my slam comes from one of my students when she was interesting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's from <laughs> Kids Bob 19. <laughs> <laughs> my slam comes from my student. Um, she was asking, Mr. Mr. Joey. Play the strawberry song. And I was like, what? <laughs> is it fire? And th- I mean, the beat is catchy as hell. Like, you listen to it enough times because the children are asking for it. And I'm like, all right. That, and now I, it sometimes plays in my head as I'm doing stuff. And um, out of boredom sometimes, like, when they're, they're playing, I'll just play the song. And I'll have, like, a choir of, like, 18 kids all jamming to it as they're playing. Um, it's by a Fortnite creator that decided to go, like, make a u- song. And it's called Strawberry by Tico. Hmm. Hmm. And, uh, yeah. It's definitely not a song you'd vibe with your grown friends in a car ride. <laughs> gotcha. I think but, it is. Uh, I think it, I think Listen, it that's the be. whole point of having jams or your yams or your bams or yeah. your slams. They're yours, right? I've got, like, 200 songs in my playlist that are embarrassing as shit. Yeah. And only one is from the show, Victoria. So you could imagine how, <laughs> how embarrassing the rest of them are. So All right. So, yeah, this is Tico. Yeah, you got a nice Fortnite creator day. that decided to make a song. No, 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 no. About wanting yeah, strawberries. Cosgrove, it's a whole different ballgame. <laughs> Her own personal album. Sorry, had to had to consult Jerry. It's okay, Jerry. Jerry had to Jerry had to find out. Yeah. <laughs> had to find now out. go home and listen to Shakespeare by Miranda Cosgrove and tell me that song's not a banger. It's not. Uh, Miranda so Cosgrove so. made a song. Doesn't she say hell or something in it? I remember that. I remember it coming out when we were she like, was kids. like hell. Oh my god, she's so edgy. No, yeah, that was like the whole <laughs> thing. We were like fifteen at the time, and she was supposed to be like, oh my god, she's on Teen Nick, you know. But uh, you know. You want to end the St. Patrick's Day, my Irish friend? Go ahead no. again. Yeah, let's go. Close it. <laughs> my mouth is full of sand. No, 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 no. End the podcast. <laughs> Tell them to subscribe. Tell them to I'm like. Not, I can't do it. Do it. I, mean, I, cannot. I do a lot for this show. You can do this. I'm guilting you into this. It's uh, like because I'm gonna, I'm gonna not be able to do too it. Too bad. Now. Let's go.
I feel like we're channeling something. Look, we're not here. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, I have to. I have to. I have to. I have to figure it out. Gotta get a question. motivation. Yeah. Get his groom. Oh, laddies, make sure to subscribe. Like good. the video. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> We, like, yeah. I don't know. I I believe whatever you say. Yeah. Just do whatever yeah. accent. I'll be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> should I should I end it in an Irish yeah, accent? Yeah, go for it. All right, we go. Thank you, Larry. Welcome to the episode of the Joystick Show at the one thirty three. I mean, oh really? Did I understand? I sound Indian. This is getting real weird here. The I beginning sound, is sounding. Like, I went from Irish to Pakistani. It's like Slap when I. Stop sh- that we subscribe button. Yeah, very, very <laughs> that was really good. Hurry, darky, darky, and I'm just I'm being I racist at of, this yeah. point. I know a lot of Jacks. I'm sorry to your family and your people, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're. I apologize. Sixty percent of me. Yeah. Uh, fucking. Sissy. But regardless, thanks for joining uh, us here at uh, the Joystick Show. I was excited for this one. I knew it was going to be a fun one because it was the first one that we've all been at for a while. And I, I think I was right. I had a good time. I did have a fun Little time. segment, little double downs, little butter beer, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. little, little, be- little uh, reconnections. But uh, make sure to go ahead and like this episode, 133. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to Team Joystick. And we will catch you here next week for episode 134, where we will be talking about more awesome, cool stuff. Until then... Uh, stay lucky. That was way lighter than I thought. I was trying to I was trying one more time. Stay lucky. Stay lucky. <laughs> I got it. Hey. hey.